As someone who's spent most of his working life watching and reporting sport, I derive great pleasure from looking back over the years and recalling some of these marvellous moments in sport, which I'd like to share with you now. And the way we can do that is by digging into the bulging archives of BBC television, which are full of such moments, and I suppose we could draw on them almost endlessly. Well, I thought we'd start with what's often been described as one of the finest rugby union matches ever played. It took place in January 1973 at what was then called Cardiff Arms Park, but which now, of course, is known as the National Stadium of Wales. Capacity crowd, 51,000 people there, to see the touring New Zealanders, the All Blacks, who had already beaten England, Scotland and Wales. And they were playing against that famous club, the Barbarians, the Barbars, extraordinary club, which was founded, strangely enough, over an oyster supper in Bradford in 1890. Now, the Barbarians, the Barbars, are an informal collection of internationals from any country and also some leading club players who might not quite have made international status. Well, you can imagine the marvellous atmosphere in the great Welsh home of rugby as Phil Bennett, the Welsh fly half, prepares to kick off for the Barbarians and the commentator is another superb Welsh fly half but of a slightly earlier generation, Cliff Morgan. So, Mr. Georges Domerch of France handling this game, which he says is one of the great moments in his life. What can it produce? Just inside the 10 yard line. Burgess, Hurst. That's for Grant Batty. John Williams. Joe Parra. David Duckham, John Dawes, Mike Gibson. That's a great ball. So the Gibson man starts running early on. McBride trying to get. Wilkinson going. Williams again. Everyone with him. Sid going. Very little support. Good tackle by Slappery of Ireland. Almost on the halfway line. Kirkpatrick to Williams. This is great stuff. Phil Bennett covering. Chased by Alice Stone. Brilliant. John Williams, Brian Williams, Colin, John Dawes, great dummy, David, Tom David, the halfway line, brilliant by Quinnell. This is Gareth Edwards, a dramatic start. What a goal! a man like that. Going first. Duckham on his own 25. A long way to go, but he's prepared. Wilkinson, 
Edwards again into Quinn, into Slattery, over the top. Goal! Oh, brilliant! But, but, but it was forward. Here we are then, 10 yards from New Zealand's line. Going harassed by Edwards. Slattery's pick up. Edwards Harrison going so to Slattery. That's the pickup. Couldn't be held by Burgess. Brian Williams or Karen. Phil Bennett then from the identical spot he converted a, a penalty. Number seven then, the Irishman Fergus Slattery, scorer of the Barbarians' second try. Burgess. Oh, interception by Cornell. Here's goals. This is Sean Bevan. Williams can't get him. So strong, this fellow. What a try! an awkward ball great tackle that one by Slattery again superb pickup that ball from Dawes brilliant but see how strong this man is he's done this once before to New Zealand in Canterbury he only came into this barbarian team because Gerald Davies cried off this morning a superb first half John Dawes doing for the Barbers what he did for the British Lions in New Zealand. Monsieur Georges Domer has had a very good match. He's allowed advantage. He's been a Matusu. Pick up by Kirkpatrick. That's him, the big man. That's Whiting, even bigger. Forward it went. Referee waiting for the advantage. We'll call for this set scrum. Edwards then, and this time he gets the treatment from the referee, not in straight, on this an easy three points for New Zealand. Some would say they should run it, but there's a long way to go in this game, and three points on the board could give you a little lift, and this probably is what's going through the mind of Ian Kirkpatrick. Joe Cam is kicking towards our camera just over the Taff River. The River Taff that runs alongside this ground. Hundred and twenty-five points on tour. We've had eight minutes of the second half. Seventeen points to three the score. And that's the Barbarians twenty-five going Burgess brilliantly. Hurst, this is Karam in the line, Williams in the line. Can he get there? He's got great speed. Grant Backy is in. Grant Batty. From this superb kick on his toes by Burgess. Into the line from Robertson came Brian Williams. He stretched his legs. There was Grant Batty at his elbow. Nothing could stop him. The little man's 16th try on tour. This is Gareth Edwards with his team leading 17 points to 7.
penalising him. The Barbarians on the attack. Slavely to Williams. John Bevan from the halfway line. What a tackle that was. Ian Hurst did well to get back. Cut under Brian Williams. Three men there. He should have given it. Williams is too safe a player to try and run through. McDonald to Whiting. Front row forward. Rony Ehrlich. Covering again. John Pullin for England. The England hooker there at the vital moment. Pulling Burgess into the line comes Brian Williams. Over the top, it should have gone to Williams though. Duckham was in. Ahead for Batty. Picks it up. He, he scores the speed. Over the top. This is a brilliant try by Grant Batty. He picks it up. Superb pass from Colling. Burgess. Williams into the line. It should have gone to him, really. But it was made by that beautiful chip ahead. And by this fellow's pace, beating John Dawes, John Williams too. Not many wings can control like that. 17 points to 11 then with Batty Strong. Slattery's deflection. That's the play to try. Willie John, tackled by Alex Wiley. Beautifully fed to Edwards on the blind side. John Bevan. Good package tackle. The pick up by Bob Burgess, John Williams. A 10 yard line still. Wilkinson for the Barbarians. Edwards, Bennett, George is within. So to Duckham. Now Gibson's outside Duckham. These two between them have got pace. Good package tackle on Duckham. Batty as well. Carmichael of Scotland. David of Wales, Pullen of England, Slattery of Ireland, Gibson of Ireland. That's his genius. That's now Willie John. Ken David of Wales. Joe Curran's tackle, and it went forward. And that's by Lindsay Colling, a great piece of play, but Duckham can keep it in. David Duckham. Lambert misses him. Pip Patrick as well. Colling was in that again. Derek Quinnell, Golds, Williams, Gibson. Gibson. Slattery. John Williams. Duckham. See how eventually the Barbars refuse to let this ball die. Dawes, Williams, Gibson, they're not content. How Gibson having done his job, Williams was outside Slattery and his sidestep beat Caram and Batty's despairing tackle. has been a great occasion. Let me not say a word now as we listen to this crowd and we watch some of the greatest players of the decade, indeed of all time. Vivian Jenkins, that great Welsh fullback of the years between the wars, started his report of that match in the Sunday Times with the words, magic, sheer, unbelievable, undiluted magic. He was right. 